Oh, well, hey there. What's going on, guys? Everybody, it's Sunday. You guys know what time it is. It's time for that Sunday night Q&A. So, let's get to those questions. Hopefully there's gonna be no crows or ambulances this time. Before I do get to those questions though, I wanna let everybody know that every Sunday I post a picture up on my Instagram. So if you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram, Eric the Electric. link will be in the description below. Ask me any question you like and I pick 10 random questions and of course, give you guys a little shout out, answer them every Sunday. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. So the first question is gonna be coming from Skinny Tommy Boy who says, how many calories were you on when you bolt a couple of years ago. So to answer this question, I was on roughly about 4,000 to 4,500 calories when I was bulking a few years ago. Uh, that was crazy just to, to see that much growth in that period of time. Uh, my bench went to, uh, I believe I was over at 235 uh, for a double, but my biggest progression was in my deadlift and that was something that I was extremely proud of. And here's a little clip from a few years ago. But yeah, uh, back then I really only just focused on powerlifting. Honestly, right now I'm going through a pretty big growth phase uh, in terms of uh, actually seeing progress. And so it's kind of sparking some interest again. And I'm actually really happy. The next question is going to be from Creativity by Obsession, who is an awesome, awesome subscriber. He actually just made this for me, guys. Check this out. How freaking awesome is that? And then he made this. Just absolutely insane. So big shout out to you, Jonathan. So Jonathan asks, how do you mentally prepare for a food challenge if you're unable to exercise before or after? Um, the main thing about food challenges and for me really is that uh, riding my bike, lifting and everything before a challenge really helps me elevate my appetite. But uh, overall, it really doesn't help to a great, great extent. Uh, if I've had challenges before where I don't do anything before or afterwards, uh, and it's it's definitely, I've seen some, um, I won't say a total loss in performance during the challenge, um, but I mean, if anything, it really just depends on the actual challenge that I'm doing. Uh, if it's a huge one, uh, huge volume wise, I will make sure I do some training beforehand, but for the most part, it really doesn't affect me to a huge extent. The next question is going to be coming from G Kuno, who says, if the days were 30 hours long, what would you think you'd be doing during those extra times or with those extra times? I'd be sleeping. Alrighty, the next question is going to be coming from Bruno235, who says, which one do you prefer, Furious Pete or Matt Stoney? Um, I mean, they're both great eaters. I can't really say I prefer one over the other. Next question is going to be coming from uh, Sarah Chetaline, who says, after a food challenge, how soon does your body feel back to normal? So that's a great question. I get this question a lot, and that's going to depend on the challenge ex itself and what it consists of. Uh, if it's a very high fat challenge or something that's loaded with sodium, it's going to take a lot longer to recover for something like that. If it's something that's just high sugar, high carb, it's pretty you know, normal to recover from it within the first day. Um, but high fat, high sodium challenges, usually it takes a few days to recover from. And it's essentially, it feels like you're hungover and it really, really sucks, uh, which is mainly why I'm doing more speed-based stuff now. Next question is gonna be coming from Annika Lane, who says, thoughts on Chelsea Lifts going vegan? So I consider Chelsea a good friend of mine and uh, it's great that she's doing what she's doing. I actually just saw her video uh, last night, I believe, that she made about going vegan and that's fantastic. And Chelsea has actually been uh, more of a, to my knowledge, a, a plant-based eater uh, or a vegan for um, a long, I mean, I would say a couple months really. And so uh, even before that, she apparently didn't eat meat a lot and she's kind of along the same lines of me. I mean, even before I took the diet of person I have taken now, I really never really consumed that much meat to a huge extent. I mean, I'd have chicken for dinner every night, but most of my eating during the day would just be mainly 
vegetables and fruit and I mean very little meat overall so uh, but great for her and great for her for speaking her mind and uh, my huge thing uh, that I really would commend her for and am commending her for is, is openly uh, speaking her mind about something like that and uh, being so vulnerable on camera because I try to be as vulnerable as I can in even my latest series that I've just released to you guys and uh, to do something like that is extremely hard to a huge audience like YouTube and the world, the internet. So props to you, Chelsea. The next question is going to be coming from I am Richard Barnham, who says, why don't you use real maple syrup instead of fake syrup? Being from Vermont, seeing you use fake syrup hits me in the field, man. Richard, there's certain things that just taste better sugar-free. Syrup is one of them. Sorry, man. Next question is going to be coming from Gina Fitness, who says, where's the next place you want to travel to? And it's gonna be actually something, guys, that I came up with today. And this is kind of funny because um, I don't know why it all hit me today and that this question was asked, but I actually plan on making a trip to Texas. I really wanna to go to Texas and visit my sister. And uh, would be cool because Texas has a lot of food challenges. There's a lot of steak challenges, but there's a lot of food challenges there. Uh, there's also just a lot of, um, I mean, just random stuff to do. And uh, yeah, I'll take my bike there, ride around, and hopefully do it by the end of the summer. So that kind of just all happened today. But other than that, I do want to visit Europe and eventually go to Germany and ride my bike over there too. Alrighty, and the next question is going to be coming from Hunter Olds, who says, favorite breakfast food other than cereal? Good old French toast. Alrighty, guys, and the last question is going to be coming from Sophia Delpino, Delpino uh, who says, if you couldn't do any sort of cycling, what sport would you do? Obviously, I'd do some CrossFit, guys. It's gonna sound weird, but I've always wanted to try trail running. So that's it, everybody, for the Sunday night Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the next one, which will be next Sunday. And if you guys have an additional question, leave them in the comments below. And I just might make a big Q&A next Sunday. I've been thinking about it. Of course, if you guys haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and Go ride a bike. Seriously. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh